Hi everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a 4-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and four of these Nissan Leaf motors. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon patrons team. Thank you much guys for your staying with me during these difficult times. If you would like to become a patron, there is the link down below. I made some change to the plans as the first vehicle will be made for uh, truck to truck competitions with two steering wheels for two drivers and it will combine the maneuverability of a new Hummer EV that can crab walk and a Rivian truck that can spin on the spot. I am now in the UK focusing on the drivetrains. That might be maybe interesting for you guys who are thinking about converting your car into electric. Basically, you can do the conversion the expensive way by buying aftermarket parts, or you can do the cheap way by using the parts from uh, salvage cars, for example, like from Nissan Leaf. The problem with the cheap conversion always was that uh, after you remove the drivetrain components from the donor car, that means you disconnect them from the unwanted modules, those components would not work together anymore. And there was no any ECU on the market that would be able to control the motor, the inverter, the DC, the DC, the battery and the charger after you do so. Until now. Here's the first plug-in system in the world designed for Nissan Leaf components by Resolve EV from Sweden. I helped Roger to put all of this together, so he will demonstrate to you now how it works. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. You're looking at an early stage of an electric vehicle conversion here. I've got the major components removed from a Nissan Leaf, which fundamentally comprises the motor which has got an integrated inverter charger and the charging connections alongside the 12 volt and the traction batteries. In the foreground I've got a temporary board which has been used to mount up the electronic control unit and its small display unit. It also has four switches, four relays and a couple of lights to simulate the car's braking and reversing light systems just to simulate everything as we set it up. The rest is um, just comprising a lot of messy wiring and connectors which is rather temporary looking um, with plenty of ugly labels and wiring connectors which will all be removed of course once it gets installed on the car. But for the purposes of this test setup it's to test the controller, find out exactly where all the necessary connections need to be made and just uh, find out what it's actually like to, to spin it up. Looking a bit closer here, we've got an ignition switch, the Resolve EV control unit, um, a brake switch simulator, which is effectively like the brake pedal, um, three switches to select forward, neutral, or reverse, and a throttle pedal. And that's about it. So, without further ado, if we turn on the ignition, here are a couple of clicks from the Recharge relay and the, the main contactor coming in to put the high voltage into operation, and we're ready to go. So, put your foot on the brake and select forward. You'll see the display unit now has come up um, showing the charge state of the battery and D for drive. And when we press the throttle, we get some rotation. Surprise, surprise. If I operate the brake pedal and push the forward unit again, you'll see the bar comes up here and that's giving me regeneration to a smaller degree. Uh, you see it brake brings the uh, motor to a fairly rapid stop and also introduces the, the brake light on as it's decelerating. And if we do that again, if we get a higher degree of regeneration which will stop it even quicker. As you can see there, you wouldn't expect to get the uh, the reverse motion once you're in the car of course. Uh, the other thing I didn't mention is um, the gearbox has been removed temporarily so that we can get rid of the um, parking brake unit inside it but while it was off 
decided to, to run up the motor. As we go um, to change over to reverse, again you've got to put your yeah, foot on the brake and select reverse and lo and behold the reverse light comes on, let go of the brake and away we go in reverse and it's not got a propensity to slow down as quickly in this mode. So I'm going to eat it. And now it's stopped, I can either reselect forward or indeed go back into neutral. And that's all about all that there is to uh, to operating it really. Uh, the resolve control unit here is uh, basically takes control of the whole um, operation of this unit um, and it allows you to do away with one awful lot of uh, original wiring which if I spin this around here you can see roughly um, what has been removed from the Nissan and is now no longer needed. So this setup, although it's uh, still not exactly tidy at the moment, is uh, a whole lot simpler and easier to comprehend than the original system would have been. Um, the other thing that we've got on here are the uh, two charge ports which obviously come from the original vehicle um, and I'll pause for a minute and plug in the um, charger just so that we can see that operating as well. Just about make out the display is now showing that it's charging the battery is currently at 72% and it's charging at a rate of 1.9 kilowatts it's all taken care of by this uh, control unit and there's a function on there as well to operate a um, battery management um, feature if I press the neutral button you'll maybe see that it it's now displaying maximum 80%, which tells you that the battery won't be charged up anything beyond its 80% capacity, which is a life-enhancing um, feature. And while it's in this mode, uh, plugged in, if you try and operate the vehicle and drive away, it won't let you, um, because if I put the ignition on, you can see there, I'll have to pull that back, try and operate myself into forward, nothing's happening. Turn the ignition off again. And that's purely because I'm plugged in. And that is just about all there is to show you on this. Thank you very much. So, with this ECU, you can cheaply convert virtually any car into electric without being an expert in programming and electronics. You can order this ECU from resolve-ev.com and if you add the discount code uh, Offroad EV, you will get 5% off. And if you are living in the UK and you would like to have all this kit completely wired and uh, checked and tested, you can contact me at my YouTube channel Offroad Electric. So this is all for today. Stay tuned for the next series of videos about building the monster truck. If you like this video, please consider to become a patron and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.